In this video I'll show you how to set up the LAMP server to run more than one website at a time. And so what we're going to do is I'll set up two websites, site 1 and site 2, and I'll show you how to set this up. First off by going to Applications, Accessories, and then Terminal. We're going to go ahead and open up Nautilus as the root. Uh, so this is the file browser within Ubuntu. So all you see here, I'll go ahead and open this up. And what this will allow us to do is we don't have to worry about permissions because I'm running this as the root. And many of the folders and files that we're going to modify require the root level permissions. And so this makes it kind of easy for us to set up. So first off, I'll go to the file system. I'm going to go to the ver folder and then the www folder. And we're going to go ahead and set up the location of our two sites. So I'm going to right click and say new folder and call the first one site1.com. And the second one, let's create another folder, and we'll call it site2.com. I'm going to go ahead and set up an index page in each of these. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on site 1, right click, create a document, empty file, call it index.html. I'm going to right click on this and open with a text editor and just type in a quick brief sentence that says welcome to site 1. And hit save. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing back on our site 2 folder. So I'm going to right click new document, empty file, call it index.html and I'm going to right click and say open with text editor and we'll say welcome to site 2 and I'll save that. So now I have uh, an index file in both of these folders. I've got a site1.com and a site2.com folder which represent the two websites that I'm going to have running at the same time. I can have more but I just wanted to show you by using two. So this is the first task that we have set. The second task that I want to do now is actually modify my hosts file. So we're going to go to the file system. We're going to look for the Etsy folder. And we're going to scroll down until we find the hosts file. And we're going to go ahead and modify this. So there it is. I'll double click it. So that both of our websites will come back to our computer. Get back, back, back to the loopback address. So I'm going to type in 127.0.0.1 hit the tab key and just type in site1.com 127.0.0.1 hit tab and do site2.com so the, both of these basically what happens when we type in, in our web browser site1 or site2.com it's going to come back to our own web server to reload the page so this is what I want to happen so I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'll close this so that's the second task that I need to have set up the third task is to actually make the configuration changes to Apache. And so to do this, I'm going to scroll to the top. And now we're in the Etsy folder. I want to look for the Apache 2 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on set Apache 2 and find the sites available. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new entry for my new site. So I'm going to go ahead and create a document, call it empty file there. And we'll call it our first site, which is just site1.com. I'm going to go ahead and double click inside of there. And inside this file, I'm going to paste a little bit of code and explain what it is. We have a tag here called virtual host. The asterisk means any address at, at port 80. And what we've got are some key tags. This document root, um, this, is a, this is the root directory of where our site is going to be located, which we've created this already on this video. The server name, which is the actual web address or the URL for our site. And the server alias, which is going to be basically any alias we may have such as not typing in the www but just having site1.com uh, it will redirect to the same location and then we close our virtual host tag and so this is the code that I want to have in here this is the minimum I like there are additional tags we can enter but this is the minimum I want to have in here for this to work so I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close this and so that's site1 we're going to go ahead and create one more and call this one site2.com and we're going to go ahead and open that up and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there and make my changes here from site 1 to site 2 and now that I've got those changes in there we're going to go ahead and hit save so now the files are in here we're going to actually have to make the configuration to Apache itself with a simple command and so we're going to go back to the terminal close that and we'll open up a new terminal and the command is a very simple command. It's actually going to be, uh, we're going to run this as a root user, so I'll type in sudo. And then the command is going to be a2en 
site. This is going to enable our site within Apache 2. And so I'm going to hit space and type in my first site, which is site1.com, and hit enter. And type in our password. And you can see that I need to run this reload command. I'm going to go ahead and add the second site first before I do that. So we'll say A2, E N S I T E, and then site2.com. And again, it says I need to run that reload command. So now let's run that reload command. So I'll type in sudo space etsy dnet.d forward slash apache2 and then the reload command and you can see it reloaded apache now let's test our work to make sure this works so I'll open up the firefox web browser and we're going to go ahead and type in our first web address site1.com hit enter and you'll see site1 comes up I'll open up another tab site2.com and you'll see welcome to site 2 is there so now both of these websites are currently live running on our apache web server and they both are directed to their own root directory for their website. And that concludes the video on creating more than one website on the same LAMP server using virtual hosts.